Have you ever been on a job interview selling yourself and, and then your conscience joins the conversation? <laughs> Who invited that jerk? You know what I mean? You're sitting there, you're saying to the person across the desk, I'll tell you why you should hire me, because I'm a go-getter and a self-starter. Back there, you're thinking, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but you forge ahead. I, that's why I can start a project, finish it, do all the work in the middle. I don't need anybody's help. In fact, I work best when I'm alone. And yet, I'm a team player. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tall for a short guy. I'm a thin fat man. That's what I am really. I have actually taken jobs just because I couldn't stop talking on the job interview. I, I, this is the weirdest job you'll ever hear. I, I used to teach driving, wait for it, in Manhattan, New York. What's the point? You know, felony laws aren't slowing those drivers down. I don't think traffic laws are having an effect. I'm in the car, I'm making stuff up. I'm, I'm like, welcome to drive in New York style. All right, today's lesson, we're gonna call, I don't know, defensive driving. For instance, see that car that just cut you off? Hit that car. <laughs> now look how defensive he's getting. <laughs> Hit him again. <laughs> yeah, it's a police car, you're in trouble. <laughs> Let me tell you something, I got nothing but respect for the police. I get pulled over all the time. And I'll tell you why, I speed. I don't blame the officer for my heavy foot. But you know what I do blame the officer for? Because these are state troopers. You have to be a smart person to be a state trooper. That's a very rigorous test. Here's what I blame them for. The question is a stupid question. You're pulled over, he's pulled over, he comes to your window and he, with a straight face, he says to you, do you know how fast you were going? Don't you want to turn to the guy at that moment and go, no, honestly, I have no idea how any of this works. Yeah. I have been pressing things randomly, hoping for the best. But you can't say that, because he has a gun. So you do. This is what you, you gotta show respect for the officer. You have to, that's the top priority, show respect. But tell him the truth, be honest. But do it in a way that, you know, maybe gets, this is what I say, and you can use it if you want. The guy says to me, do you know how fast you were going? I always say, yeah. What I didn't know is that you were hiding behind that bush. Yeah. Yeah. If I knew that, we wouldn't be having this chat right now, trust me. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.